Oh, I'm gonna take my B-reel now, too. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney, if you're new, and uh, I haven't posted a video in a while. Oh, and I always say, oh, I'm gonna get back into it. And then I don't, but I'm back, we're here. 2023 is like gonna be my, my influencer year. So yeah, to, to touch on that really quickly, I started a podcast, it's called Sit in Solitude. I started a podcast, it's called Sit in Solitude, and it's just gonna be like about navigating your 20s i'll have it linked below i i'm uploading the second episode today i'm also like trying to get more into um tiktoks and i had a tiktok go viral uh it wasn't anything to do like with my niche it was about too hot to handle and uh the james from too hot to handle stitched it this video is going to be products i don't want to go into 2023 without or just like products I really like. I suck at these videos. I, I've i wanted to be a YouTuber since I was like 16. No, scratch that, 14. And then I got a camera finally when I was 16. I tried to make a favorites video like a few times and like I just suck at them because I don't know what's like an actual favorite of mine and what's not. So like take these, like these are just products that I use and I like and like I would recommend, like you know. Um, so the first category we'll do skincare. Sure. So the first thing I have is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This is how I take my makeup off. I really like the Pharmacy Green Clean, but that's expensive. That's that's too much money. This is like $13.99. It does the job. It smells like nothing in a, in a good way. Maybe a little soapy, but like I guess like oat. I don't know. I don't know. This is why I don't like these making these videos, but why I like this product is because it takes your makeup off and like this is like double cleanse, like you cleanse with this first. It takes all your makeup off and like I am the type of person that like overthinks when I wash my face. I'm like, oh my god, did I get all my makeup off? When I use this, I feel satisfied. So I wash my face with that first and then I go in with the Skin Fix Barrier Foaming Oil Cleanser. I only recently got this in November because I... <laughs> All of a sudden, no, I say all of a sudden, my mom said I had this since a baby, but since I was a baby, but like, I don't remember uh, having it. Like, I used to get like a little rash there, but it would go away. Like, I could pretty much do like anything and it would go away. And so then this year I got it, it wouldn't go away. I'm like, it's perioral der dermatitis because I went to school to be an esthetician and I thought I knew my shit. No, N clearly not. Anyway, I bought this whole line this barrier plus line because google told me like this was when i was like desperate like i was like i was like trying all these random things and then i was like okay i'll buy this whole skincare line and i love it i have very 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 dry skin so like this skincare line this is just the first product that i'm gonna show you but this this is a wonderful feeling it makes my skin feel clean like, I like my skin to feel clean. I, sometimes you wash your face. Like, with the CeraVe, I wash my face, and I was like, I feel... Like, the, the original CeraVe, like, uh, for dry skin. I was like, this feels like nothing is happening. No, this lathers. So I feel like it's getting clean, but it doesn't feel tight and dry and squeaky. It just feels clean and nice and moist. I don't know. It's just... It's good. It, this is the fa my favorite cleanser I think I've ever used. And it's, it's just good, and I don't know how to explain why I like it. The next is the cream. This is my favorite moisturizer I've ever used. It's like this thing. It's also dirty right now. It's just a good cream. My skin's very dry. My skin in the winter tends to flake. I've tried so many moisturizers so many moisturizers i like her i also got the barrier plus triple lipid hyaluronic hyaluronic hyaluronate serum this is the first thing i bought from this line she's cool i don't use her every day so i can't you know i can't rave about her. these two every day so we're tight you know this i use maybe once a week just because like it's expensive. I don't feel like it does, like it works, but I don't, you don't need it every day. Then I got the eye cream because my eyelids were crusty. Uh, Cause like I had this like rash it was on my eyelids. Eyelid peeling skin is embarrassing. Well, I was embarrassed and I didn't like it and it was noticeable. So I bought this and it's wonderful. This is kind of skincare, but then it's kind of makeup. It's the Super 
super goop glow screen i love this this is my fourth bottle of this maybe third or fourth bottle i love i love her when i go to work this is my base that's all i put on my face and like i have levels to my makeup i got this video idea from whitney simmons and she also has levels to her makeup she does minute medium and then like a full beat this is my minute base it just gives you like a nice glow appearance to your skin uh it's all i have on my skin right now like other than like concealer you know what i mean like this is the base sunscreen because i don't want to be wrinkly everything that i would want in in a sunscreen if you like a glowy tinted like it makes you look a little like makes me look a little tan i guess this is also kind of skincare it's the summer fridays lip butter balm i if i had to pick a favorite product in this whole entire video this would be top three i can't just pick one of, like these are my products i can't live without top three this is in the color vanilla beige beige i wanted to try this so bad because everybody was like screaming about it and i give in to peer pressure i'm not even friends like tiktok i don't have friends this everybody was like screaming about it on tiktok and like people you know like vloggers were like oh my god remember her i've had this for I, ha I had one of these. This is my second Laneige lip mask. This is either my second or third. And like I've had this for well over a year. But I've had that for well over a year and a half. And it's just good. But my lips are very picky because again, dry skin, dry sensitive skin, dry eczema, dry. My lips, I, if you are a real one and you used to watch, you've been subscribed to this channel, I used to, I had a vlog and my lip was like disgusting because I have all my old videos private and I like to watch them sometimes like my old vlogs and be like wow that was my that was my life anyway that's why I want to make more videos because like I watch my old vlogs and like my old videos all the time and like both cringe and like think wow I'm the same person as that wild I want the clear one of this so bad they didn't have the clear one I'm like very much not a colorful person especially like I want the clear one and it's been sold out and I bought this and immediately was like I want the clear one but they didn't have a clear one when I went to store, so I bought this one and thought, I probably won't even like that because it's not the clear one. No, I used, like, I, can you see that it goes in? Like, I've used this, and that's saying a lot. It's so good that I used this color because usually I wouldn't, it would need to be clear. I got complimented on this literally today. It's the Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow by Say. Now, again, bought this because everybody was like, oh my god, get it, put it under your makeup when you use this this is pointless to put under your makeup and i knew that i think i may have said that in a tiktok that i was like i re when i repurchased this i bought this at the same time and i was like i don't think i'm gonna need this because i have this and everybody was just using it like at under their makeup but i just use this like i finish my makeup set my under eyes like i do all cream product pretty much set my under eyes back my hand beauty blender It doesn't like lift your makeup it doesn't and it's like natural the compliment i got on this today was that when i got the compliment today it was like what highlighter do you use your skin looks poreless and glowy and dewy and nice and like glass this is embarrassing why why in my right mind did i think oh like i want to try the flawless filter because everybody's screaming about it on tiktok but i won't buy the full size because what if i don't like it i'll buy the mini size that is the size of a literal fucking nail polish i didn't know it was this small and when i got it i was deeply offended because this was 20 21 dollars and the big one this is 0.18 fluid ounces and the big one is one fluid ounce yeah i scammed myself but i kept it because i was like well i want to know if i like it so i think they might have been sold out of the big size I, I don't know no this is beautiful this is like medium beat this is my base i do this the glow screen and then this on top it gives i don't even know what this part is supposed to be not foundation but it gives you like a little bit of like am i making it up maybe but i think it's giving you coverage yeah if i feel like putting a little extra effort into how i look i put this on on top of this glow screen okay next i have this blush which is the tower 28 magic hour blush i believe is the name of it it's in the shade beach please which it's so crusty dusty dirty right now the shade right now for me is not not the best it's more of a summer shade i want to buy this 
I'm gonna look it up right now. I want like a cool tone blush. I've been using a cool tone powder br blush, but it's like this is my favorite blush. I just don't have it in the shade I want. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's called Beach Please. The color is Magic Hour. It's the Beach Please Lip and Cheek Cream Blush. It's such a good like like a look at that on my skin and tell me that don't look a little orangey. When I'm tan, it's beautiful. That's supposed to be a a nude. It's supposed to be a nude. It's not a nude on me, unfortunately. But it's still one of my favorite products. It's literally, I'm telling you right now, it's just the shade with like my winter complexion. I'm very neutral. If you're more warm, perhaps this is gonna be good for you in the way. I, I don't. I'm technically a makeup artist and that's why experience is so important. Um, this concealer is like, I have used this concealer for a very long time and it's been pretty high up there on my, in my books. But I feel like this year I've tried, I tried the Kosas concealer. You're not going to see her in this video. I don't not like it. It's in my everyday makeup bag, but I will not be repurchasing when I'm out. Like it's not, I don't like Kosas's shade range that I'm aware of unless it got better. The LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. This is in porcelain. It is the, it's like my either self tan highlight shade or my regular skin, skin shade for like blemishes. It does everything you want. It dries down really nice. So if you like dry it down and then blend it in, beautiful. And so when I conceal, I'll share my next concealer, is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury? 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 It's very thick. It's very radiant. It's very, the first time I used it gave me the worst under eye creases of my life. I didn't know how to set it right because I was like, I was, just, I was like maybe kind of trying to bake, which like 2016 called. Anyway, I like take this concealer and I literally go, don't know that little bit there so there's like a little bit like I kind of like go back and forth and kind of bring it down and then I go up and then I take in bluff and I put it more in the center and then I blend it out and it looks really really fucking good that's like the best part that's still on my make see it looks a little bad in camera I'm not gonna lie but it looks good in real life I also need a better powder so these are like an under eye or my under eye dream team I've never used this on blemishes because it's too radiant and I think that I have better concealers and this is very, very light. So I think it's good for my under eyes. This is good for anything. It's cheap, it's affordable. The shade range, I believe, is pretty good. Next, I'm gonna go into body care. I have two products. The first one being this, this is niche. This is underground. This is, nobody's ever heard of this. This is the Sea Buckthorn and Honey Be by the Sea Be Lux Body Oil. Um, it's paraben free, petroleum free, and cruelty free. If you can see this bottle, she's empty. I got this for Christmas in 2021, so I've used it in the whole interior. Also, inflation hit that bitch like this. Still has a price tag on it, and it says 1849. I went on the website to order a new one, and it's 26. I think. I mean, I understand. Uh, the label is peeling off. It's just a crusty, dusty container, but I have cherished this. I was running low, and when I run low, when I'm running low on a product, I have this horrible toxic trait where I don't want to run out. I do this with TV shows too. I never finished New Girl. I literally have yet to watch the last episode of New Girl, and I've watched New Girl twice. <laughs> I mean, I've used. It, I like. It was like about here, and I said no. We're done using that, and I bought. I had two different body oils. I'm trying to think of like the other one I had. And then recently I picked this back up because I moved and I it was in my packed away in a box. And so I used this again. And the luxurious, amazing, wonderful feeling of this compared to what I had been using, I was like, what the fuck? The smell isn't like it's not like the smell that brings you back. I mean it's like okay. I mean, the smell that I'm smelling right now, it's just like a clean smell maybe, like a, well I mean it smells like sea buckthorn and honey I'm pretty sure. This is so much nice, so much nicer than what I had been using and that's why it is my favorite. Now, this next favorite 
is the Eau de Juice. 100% chill body mist. I was walking around shoppers looking for lotion and I couldn't find any. But as I was roaming and perusing, I found this. And I was like, oh, I saw that on TikTok. Do you see the theme? Do you see the theme in this video? So I just did a little quick. And then I was like, I, the more I smell it, the more it brings me back to uh, middle school. So then I'm like, can you smell this for me to my sweet, sweet boyfriend? And he smelt it. And I said, I need you to be honest. Do I just like the smell of this because it reminds me of what I probably wore when I was 14? Or is this actually good? Like, is this an actual... And he said, yeah, it smells nice. I mean, is that answer the answer? Like, does that answer my question? Maybe not because he doesn't know me. He didn't know me when I was 14. He was 19. If he knew me, questionable. I think it's like maybe the more I smell it maybe warm and cozy my next favorite is my shampoo and conditioner as of recently it's the Amica Normcore signature shampoo and signature conditioner and it's just the smell my mom told me it smelled like old lady which she also smelled my body I just got that all over me she also smelled my body wash and told me do you just like smelling like old lady which was offensive to say the least but as someone who doesn't like smelling like old lady i don't think they smell like old lady they smell nice and i think they make my hair very soft my hair has been getting greasier than i'm used to i used to go like seven days without washing my hair and now we're at a good like four i haven't been like crazy with the dry shampoo though i'm like not actively trying to get back to seven days and i also i'm not bleaching my hair now the difference i found when i started using these is they're very light the shampoo and conditioner i was using before this was for like repair it was by matrix and it was i never thought oh this is heavy until i started using this and I'm like wow the next we'll do lifestyle this keychain i bought in toronto when i went to toronto to see justin bieber and then he rudely ditched the plans um when he rudely canceled on me green's my favorite color i saw this in the checkout i said that's huge I lose my keys a lot. I'll buy it. I have yet to lose my keys since I bought this. And she's cute. I've been loving... I, I hated tea. I used to hate tea. 2022 was the year I found out I do like tea. I just had to force myself to like it. So I did green tea. I like matcha. I like uh, hibiscus tea. I don't have any of the boxes to show you because I just ran out of all of this. I think I might have hibiscus still like turmeric tea hibiscus tea ginger tea peppermint tea love peppermint tea anything traditional medicinal like them a lot my yeti i have two yeti tumblers a white one and like a mint green one and then this giant hot pink water bottle i'm purposely showing you this side because i dented it on this side. i love this i'm getting the straw lid though because i think a straw lid is definitely the way to go if you're trying to drink a lot of water the last section is fashion favorites so i have the sweatsuit i'm wearing oh, i'm only wearing the hoodie right now i'm wearing pajama pants but it's from old navy and it's like a fake not a, i don't want to be on like the dupe like oh it's a dupe um it's some people may say it's an aritzia dupe a tna dupe because it doesn't have like the drawstrings it's the old navy it was unisex i think now they changed it to men's which is like you were so close to the point babe and then messed it actually you were on the point and then messed it up i could be wrong i don't know the color i'll try to link it below but i think they are sold out they were sold out during boxing day week sales um i have this in the matching sweatpants very comfortable they're sized by men like it's like men's sizes so perfect like baggy nice fit the only thing is i'm like to wear my sweatpants a little a little high-waisted and since they're like men's they're a little short on me and i'm five seven next favorite is h&m hoops or h&m earrings i have the ones i'm wearing right now are my most recent i also have these which i had a bigger pair of these but they broke and i'm trying to i have to like super glue them because like the end came off so then all the pearls came off they like come in set i don't have the like will to spend a lot of money on my earrings i'm not at that point in my life i especially when you're like getting like trendy earrings i don't have bands to throw these are bent i literally just said how i 
broke the big bear and I just broke the little bear. These Zara cropped t-shirts. This is my black one. I have it in blue, light blue, pink, white, and this black one. The first one I ever bought was this black one. They're soft. They're like $11.90 and they're like super soft. I don't know how to explain how soft they are, but they're just really soft and stretchy. This is like my go-to like if we're going out to dinner with Dylan or like his friend but like if we're going to any like event this shirt was my go-to in the summer this and jean shorts or this and jeans and then my last thing I have is Abercrombie jeans these are just the literal jeans I wore today to work I find they fit nice they're flattering jeans are hard to buy I feel like they have the most amount of different styles and stuff so I have three pairs now and yeah, I just really like Abercrombie jeans and I think that I will be buying more this year so that's why I added them to this list. Alright, so that was all of my favorites or things that I loved last year that I'm going to be bringing into this year. Thank you for watching. I'll have my podcast link below and I'll have my TikTok and my Instagram. And I'll see you next week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. I'm just texting my word.